International Test Match Polo is brought to you by Lexus. I should be a bit quiet about saying we've beaten the Kiwis the last three times. Uh, looking forward to a good game and a tough game. England have beaten us the last few occasions too, so we've got a bit of a chance to pay them back. We've got a lot of respect for the New Zealand team. They're a really, really strong team. We're comfortable with the, the team this year and the preparation's right. I hope both teams have a good game, but I definitely would like JP to, uh, to win. Welcome everyone to the Narakao Polo Ground here at Kiki in the Waikato for the biggest game in the New Zealand Polo calendar in 2008, the one-off polo test match between New Zealand and England. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric as everyone gets set for this massive clash between two of the world's leading polo nations. Kiwi fans, they are well aware that this classy English side have defeated New Zealand in their last three encounters. So sit back and get ready for the ride of your life as New Zealand Polo puts its coveted International Challenge Trophy the Haywood Rose Bowl on the line today for this one-off test match. There will be no prize for second, winner takes all. Going through the two sides at one for England is James Byam. The feisty 28-year-old Englishman with a seven-goal handicap plays with great anticipation and can score goals from anywhere. Leading the Kiwi attack is Thomas Wilson from the YMI Club, known to most as Tommy. The 36-year-old is a class act and a veteran of the team, first day debuting for New Zealand in 1993. Captaining the side for England is Mark Tomlinson. The seven-goaler is one of the hardest working players in the world of polo, continually hustling and bustling from start to finish. At two for New Zealand is Craig Wilson, younger brother of Tommy. He is one of the toughest competitors in New Zealand's game, a true battler whose skill level and work rate are second to none. In the engine room for England is Malcolm Borick. The 31-year-old is a very intelligent, experienced player whose strong hitting makes him the ideal pivot for the English to have steering the ship. At three, captaining the side for New Zealand is a superstar of polo, John Paul Clark, and known to most as JP, the humble man from Mystery Creek, is the country's highest rated player on eight goals. At back for England is Tom Morley, the 26-year-old with two test caps, spends every English winter playing polo in New Zealand, so he will have the advantage of playing his own ponies today. And at back for New Zealand is a real character of the New Zealand game, Simon Kite, the seven-goal powerhouse from Morrinsville, is a great team man who will give his all for his country. Like in the game of golf, every player in the world of polo has a handicap rating, reflecting their ability. Beginners start on a minus two and progress up to a maximum of a 10 goal handicap. From the thousands of polo players around the globe, there are less than a dozen on a 10 goal handicap. So as you can see, today's international involves eight of the world's leading players. New Zealand with a total of 28 goals, England 26. Earlier I caught up with England's number one, James Byam, and asked him to explain the main rule of polo. The main one is called the right of way. So I've struck the ball there, and the moment I have, you, you, I have the line. You have control and of that line. Yeah. So if I'm, if you imagine myself here, and you're, we're riding together, yeah. and I come across here like this with my, yeah, my pony. See the, see the right of way here, if you come across here, I'm on the line, you're gonna create danger for my horse. Yes. So it's a foul straight it's away. A foul straight away. So your it? options are, you have to wait for me, and as I come, you pick me up shoulder to shoulder. Yes. Push me over that line. Right. And then you, you, you've picked up the ball on your side, so you have the right of way. Yeah, it's always good to pull on the black shirt and, and have a go. We don't get very many opportunities. We always enjoyed it here and we always looked after well, so I'm looking forward to another game here. No, looking forward to a good game and a tough game. Should be a bit quiet about saying we've beaten the Kiwis the last three times, so um, hopefully we can make it four times in a row. It's a very difficult game to go in there with a set strategy, but we're all big enough and ugly enough to sort of know what we what we need to do. It's four professionals against four professionals, and, and you've got to, you know, you've just got to try and not make mistakes. 